Welcome back to Art Explained Quickly and Simply. Today, we're diving into Vitruvian Man by Leonardo da Vinci, a drawing that has appeared everywhere from the Da Vinci Code to NASA's Voyager mission, and even in medical textbooks. This iconic figure is more than just a sketch. It bridges art, science, and philosophy, capturing humanity's fascination with balance and proportion. If you've ever wondered why a simple drawing of a man in a circle and square is so groundbreaking, stick around as we uncover the secrets behind Behind Vitruvian Man and explore why it still captivates audiences and influences fields as diverse as medicine and pop culture. Pause for a moment and think, what does it mean for a human to be perfect? For Leonardo da Vinci, this question was deeply tied to the idea of harmony and proportion, connecting the human body to the geometry of the universe. Created around 1490, Vitruvian Man is based on the writings of the ancient Roman architect Vitruvius, who believed that the proportions of the human body could reveal the ideal proportions for architecture. But Leonardo took this concept to a whole new level, using his unique vision to illustrate how the human form fits into both a circle and a square symbols of perfection and order. Look closely at the two overlapping figures. In Vitruvian Man, we see a male figure with his arms and legs positioned in two different ways. The first position aligns with a square, symbolizing the earth and the physical world. The second, with arms and legs extended to fit within a circle, represents the cosmos and spiritual perfection. This duality reflects Leonardo's belief in the interconnectedness of all things, where the man and body is a microcosm of the universe. Here's where it gets even more fascinating. Leonardo's work was revolutionary not only for its aesthetic beauty, but for its scientific precision. He carefully measured each body part to align with the proportions Vitruvius described in his architectural writings. For example, Vitruvius claimed that the length of a man's outstretched arms is equal to his height, and that other body parts, like the head, hand, and foot, should have specific ratios. Leonardo tested these proportions through observation and dissection, adding his own findings to create an updated understanding of the human form. Ask yourself, how does knowing about these mathematical ratios change the way you see this drawing? It's not just about capturing the human form, it's about finding harmony between art, science, and nature. Leonardo was pushing the boundaries of what art could be he wanted to make it as accurate and enlightening as scientific study. Let's talk about the significance of the circle and square. In Renaissance thought, the circle was seen as a symbol of divine perfection, representing the heavens, infinity, and the soul. The square, on the other hand, symbolized the material world, stability, and the physical body. By combining these shapes with the human figure at the center, Leonardo illustrates the idea that humans are at the intersection of the earthly and the divine, the physical and the spiritual. It's a powerful symbol of our place within the universe, both as beings of flesh and beings connected to something greater. Here's another fascinating detail about Leonardo's thought process. The drawing wasn't just a work of art, it was a kind of scientific study. Leonardo included notes around the edges of the sketch written in his mirror image handwriting. These notes describe the mathematical ratios and proportions he used and show how he meticulously combined Vitruvius's ideas with his own anatomical observations. For Leonardo, Vitruvian man wasn't just a study of beauty. It was an exploration of knowledge and the pursuit of universal truth. Think about this. How does the blending of art and science in Vitruvian Man reflect Renaissance values? During this period, known as the Renaissance, thinkers believed in humanism. The idea that humans could reach great heights of knowledge and understanding by studying both nature and themselves. Leonardo's drawing is a perfect embodiment of this ideal, showing the human body as a link between the physical and metaphysical worlds. The cultural impact of Vitruvian Man is immense. This simple yet profound drawing has become a symbol of human potential, the beauty of proportion, and the pursuit of knowledge. It's not only one of Leonardo's most famous works, but it's also a universal symbol of human curiosity and exploration. From medical studies to architecture and even popular culture, the image of Vitruvian Man is everywhere, reminding us of our connection to the world and to each other. Here's another layer to consider. The Vitruvian Man has influenced fields far beyond art. 
In medicine, it has inspired anatomical studies, and in architecture, it continues to inform concepts of proportion and balance. Leonardo's illustration goes beyond the aesthetic. It's a foundational piece that has shaped how we understand ourselves and the world around us. For Leonardo, art and science weren't separate disciplines, but rather two ways of exploring the same mysteries. Try this. Next time you see a work of art or a scientific illustration, think about how the two disciplines intersect. How does an understanding of the body, proportions, or geometry inform the work? And how does the artist use these elements to deepen our understanding? In short, Vitruvian Man by Leonardo da Vinci is more than just a drawing of the human figure. It's a profound statement on the interconnectedness of all things, the beauty of proportion, and the unity between art and science. By placing the human body within the circle and square, Leonardo created a powerful symbol of humanity's place in the cosmos, a legacy that continues to inspire and fascinate us centuries later. If you'd like to understand and know more about art, follow this channel. And before you go, let us know in the comments which artwork you'd like to see explained next. Let's keep exploring the fascinating world of art together.